A German media house decided to share a cartoon that poked a little fun at India's population explosion. So they drew a bullet train with China's flag whizzing by and on the other side an overcrowded old Indian train going past that bullet train. Yep, we got a lot of people here. Union Minister Raji Chandrasekhar shared the image and had a witty response on Twitter. He basically said, Hey Germany, just you wait, India's economy will surpass yours in no time. Global experts had predicted at the beginning of this year that India will have the largest population by 2023. And now, recent figures from the United Nations Population Fund have confirmed this. According to the State of World Population Report 2023 by UNFPA, it has been stated that India's population has now reached 1.4286 billion, surpassing China, which is now at second position with a population of 1.4257 billion. This means that there is a difference of 2.9 million between the populations of the two countries. This is the first time in the recorded population data of the United Nations that India's population has been registered as higher than that of China's since 1950, under the category of demographic indicators in the report. So the question is, what did China do in these past few years that brought their population under control? And what did we do? to surpass China. In fact, at one point, China's population was rapidly increasing, which was considered a hurdle in the path of economic development. After that, the Chinese government realized that if they want to bring development to the country, population control is crucial. In 1979, the Chinese government implemented the one-child policy, along with a birth control program. Families with fewer children were incentivized by the government with various economic benefits. China benefited from this policy for a long time. However, after several decades, China ended the one-child policy in 2016 due to an increasing number of elderly people and a shortage of professionals in the country. Even now, China is struggling with its aging population and the government is offering new incentives every day to increase the population. Nearly 40% of China's population is now over 60 years of age. While so much was happening in China, on the other hand, India was experiencing a continuous population explosion. In the recent years, the population of our country has grown rapidly and now India has the highest population in the world. There are several drawbacks to this and it is important to look at them seriously. Depletion of resources will increase, pressure on cities will increase, healthcare system and education system will be strained, unemployment will increase continuously, the risk of mutual animosity and violence will also increase. But every coin has two sides. There are some benefits to population growth as well. Good news is that 25% of India's population is between the age of 0 to 14 years, followed by 18% of people aged between 10 to 19 years and 26% of people aged between 19 to 24 years. In India, the largest population segment falls within the youth category. This could be a good news for the economic health of the country as any nation can improve its economy with a working population. Additionally, this could lead to increased investments in India. However, population control is still necessary and the country needs a comprehensive strategy for it. Only time will tell what steps the Indian government takes in this regard.